Hello YouTube, this is Jack. This video is part of my full song tutorial series, in which we take songs from various grades and from my channel and break them down into manageable steps, so you can learn these songs at home straight away and understand the process of practicing them more effectively. If you like these videos, make sure to check out the rest of the full song tutorials. These videos were made with students and teachers in mind. Also check out my new book, The Practical Tutor. If you are interested in becoming a drums teacher, or you want to find new and improved strategies for practicing, learning or teaching, or if you want to provide more value as a music teacher, this book has everything you need. Links are in the description. Also consider subscribing to keep up to date with the release of new tutorials and videos. Subscribing is free so you can always change your mind, and it supports me in making new videos. Today we are looking at Kaiser Roll from Rock School Grade 1. This song is the bread and butter of basic drums. We have rock backbeats, simple eighth note fills, cymbal changes, and a medium to fast tempo. I can't help but notice this song is clearly inspired by the Kaiser Chiefs, especially the song Angry Mob. To start on Kaiser Roll, we need to break the song down into manageable sections. We need to find the hard parts and learn them first. Let's take this first section. We have a simple rock beat with several different kick patterns. Let's take the full first section up until the consecutive snares and learn this at 50% speed. We'll push the speed up 5% at a time. If you struggle to keep up with the speed, just head back to the start of the practice loop and continue. You will eventually improve enough to play this at full speed given more practice. If you struggle with the starting speed, try some easier songs first to develop your skills more or consider using YouTube's playback feature to slow the video down. Keep your hi-hat steady and make sure the kicks and snares are accurate.
Once we're comfortable playing the main beat, we have a fill before section B. This is a very simple fill, it's just kicks and snares. We have five snares with kicks on every odd snare. If we use a single pattern to play the snares, then we only need to kick with every right hand. We can work out the rhythm of the section by using the words coffee, coffee, tea. This is followed with a crotchet rest before we start the next section. Section B is simply a rock beat on the ride. We have a couple of crashes to look out for, but this is a very simple section. This transitions into playing on the hi-hat with a very similar kick pattern to the beginning. If you struggle with this transition, simply play these two bars together at your own pace until you're comfortable with the switch. Section C is very similar to section A. As we make our way through section C, we will reach the ending where we have seven crashes. After the fourth crash, we slow down our crashes as there are rests to look out for.
And this is the song. A very simple one, not much to explain. The only real difficulty of the song is reaching the target speed. As this is normally the first grade one track we work on, it is considerably faster than the songs from the beginner grade. In order for us to practice the speed properly, we need to start out at a manageable speed and make gradual increases towards full speed. If we end up reaching a speed that we struggle to play at, we need to decrease the speed until we can play it correctly and accurately. Given time and repeated practice, we'll be comfortable playing the song at full speed. Now that you've completed all the hard parts, we're going to piece together the whole song and start playing it at 70% speed. After each playthrough, we'll increase the speed by 5%. Once you reach the speed that you struggle with, head back to the starting speed and get more practice. Once again, if you're struggling with the starting speed, use YouTube playback speed to make it easier. After full speed, there will be run-throughs at 105 and 110. These are called overload speeds. If you can manage to play above 100%, you'll be very comfortable playing at full speed. They're simply there for a bit of added practice and confidence. Good luck with your practice.
This song is a great starting song to Grade 1, as it builds our fundamentals to a good speed in which to learn the rest of the songs in Grade 1. Just make sure you practice effectively and don't rush through the speeds. If you're struggling, just dial it back. Stay tuned for more full song tutorials.